All right, so I wanted to do a quick video, right? To talk about what I think you should focus on if you are a beginner to Amazon FBA. Now, when you first start doing Amazon, I first started doing Amazon just under five years ago. When you first start, it's very difficult to know like what you should be focusing on because there's so many different things, you know, like product research, you know, branding, all of these different things, and it can be a little bit confusing. But there's one thing that I think is more important than pretty much anything else, right? And it's probably not something that you would guess. Um, and that one thing is that I think you should be focusing on as a beginner is skills. And hear me out before you hit the back button. You should be focusing as a, as a beginner to Amazon FBA on building skills. Now, what do I mean by that exactly? So as I said, when you first start, there's so many things that you need to learn, right? And one of the mistakes that I made early on was I thought that I needed to make money right now because you start a business and you think that the focus should be on making money. Now, obviously, if you've got a business and it's not making money, you're probably doing something wrong. But when I look back at the last five years and I think about what was probably the most important thing in those five years... It wasn't the money that I made in the first six months or even the money that I made last year. The most important thing was the skills that I've developed over the past five years. So when you break it down, right, all we are really doing in e-commerce is finding demand and then developing products, creating a brand, using a channel like Amazon to sell those products. It's not rocket science, but each sort of avenue of what you need to do requires a different set of skills. Whenever you start something new, you're a complete beginner. You don't have really any idea what you're doing. So if you start boxing, and I'm saying that because I, I just got back from a Thai boxing class because I've been, um, I've just started with a new coach. When you first start, you're absolutely terrible. You have no idea what you're doing. You don't know how to punch. You don't know how to kick. You don't start thinking, well, you know, I want to win a fight straight away. Like you start and you learn the basics and, and you focus on the skills. And then as you progress, you just get better and better and it all starts to come together. So the big mistake that I think a lot of beginners make and, and it leads to them giving up is because they focus so much on just making money. And, and that becomes the focus for, for a lot of people. And the, the, the reason is, is because so many people out there are filling your head with this idea that you can make five grand a month or you can make 10 grand a month or you can quit your job and you can quit your nine to five. And, and it's all true, you can do all of that stuff, but before you, you can do that, you've got to learn the skills. So this might seem a little bit obvious, but if you, if you try and switch your brain from focusing on making money to focusing on, on, on learning and getting very, very good at the skills that will lead to you making money, then I guarantee you will make money. So if you break it down, you need to learn product development. You need to learn branding. You need to learn marketing. You need to learn copywriting. You need to learn all of these things that are going to allow you to launch products and start a brand and then go on to make money. So for us personally right now, what we're doing with our brand, we've got a brand in the pet space and we want to have a huge exit. We want to sell it in the next few years for eight figures, right? We've identified now that if we want to do that, we've got to move into subscription products. We've got to start selling products that people, that people buy every single month. And we've never done that before. We're beginners at doing that. Even though we've got a lot of experience selling products, selling subscription-based products is a little bit different. We're also now starting to move into selling those products D to C. So that means uh, direct to consumer. So we're actually building out a proper Shopify site we are going to be doing all the email marketing, the Facebook advertising, like all of that thing. Like th Those are not really skills that we've developed yet. Like We've done some of that stuff with our community, Honest FBA. You know, we run paid advertising. You might have seen a YouTube ad. You might have seen a Facebook ad. So we do have knowledge of that, but we've never applied it to D2C, to our Amazon brand. So now I've been doing this for over four years, but now I'm, I'm just starting to learn those skills now. But those skills that I don't really possess right now, they are going to make me money later on. So my focus right now isn't how do I make money with a subscription-based product? It's how do I learn the skills so that I can make money in the future? And if you come into it with that attitude and you think about it as a four or a five-year journey and you just focus on getting really, really, really good uh, those skills that are involved in, in Amazon FBA that I just kind of mentioned, you can't really lose, right? Because 
And, and, and this is one of the things that when beginners, when I speak to beginners, one of the, they're, they're, a lot of them are obsessed with this idea of, of failure. What's the percentage of the failure rate? And if you, if you go back and watch one of my previous videos where I said, why do 99% of people fail Amazon FBA? You will see that the reason is because is they give up. And most people give up because they're not thinking about the skills that they're developing. If you go into it and you just focus on the skills and getting better at those skills, the money will come. I guarantee it. The money will come. So that would be my advice if you're an Amazon FBA beginner is don't be obsessed with making the money. And, it, and if, if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, I want to quit my job. I need more money. I need this. There's probably better ways to do that. You know, even driving Uber or doing something on the side. If, if all you need right now is an injection of cash, then doing, doing a business like Amazon FBA is probably not the right thing for you. But if you want to build a set of skills that can lead you to building a very, very valuable business then Amazon FBA is perfect. And there's never been a time that's better to get into online business than right now. You know what I mean? Like everybody talks about, is it over? Is it this? Like, come on, how many people are shopping online now? You think that selling products online is, is, is going away. So if you focus on learning these skills, the money is going to come. And, and all it takes is a little bit of a change in your mindset from focusing on how do I make money? Am, am I going to make money? Is my product going to fail? None of that matters because I've had products that have failed. My first product failed. I remember thinking at the time, if this product fails, I'm going to be a disaster. I'm going to be a failure, all of that sort of stuff. And it doesn't matter. What matters is each time you do something, each time you launch a product, each time you speak to a supplier, each time you try and negotiate, each time you run some advertising campaigns, you are learning and getting better and better and better because you are going to click your fingers and in the space of what feels like a few minutes, you will be four years into your journey and you will actually look and go, shit, I've built up some pretty damn valuable skills here. And if you're in a job that you don't like, uh, th this is even more of, of something that you should focus on because I was working before in a job that I didn't really like and now I've got the skills that I don't have to go back to that job if all of this fails. If, the, if, if everything goes to zero, if the Amazon brand goes to zero and if our community goes to zero, I can do whatever I want. I can still make money for myself because of the skills that I've developed. So that's the video for today. Forget about making money in the short term. Focus on honing your skills, identifying what is going to lead you to make money. And don't worry about getting rich in the short term. Think about it as a long-term journey. Just focus on getting better and better at the things that you know will eventually lead you to make money and the money will come. Now go and watch this video that I did recently on product research because it's fucking awesome.